Well, hello there, fishing friends. And if you're new here, welcome. So today we are going to be catching the Silver Mooney. And we're going to be catching that one first on location 9. And then we're going to head to 10 and catch the last two epics for the Japan 2 DLC. So this should finish out um, all the epics for Japan 2. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are on location 9. We're going to get started here. And we'll bring up our Fishopedia here. On location 9 we have the Silver Mooney, uh, which is going to be caught on a crawfish on the bottom depth. So we're going to be targeting bubbles. Um, and Or you could just do fly fishing if you want. And just with a long line trying to catch those. You can hit those bubbles to try to catch those uh, silver moonies and the flat bitterling we've actually already caught that one I'll tell you what i'll do is i will put a link uh, up here in the corner you can click on that i'll also do a link at the very end of this video that'll take you back to the video that i previously did on that one uh, so that you can go watch that if you're still trying to get that flat bitterling and you did a search and found this video um, so flat bitterling is also on i believe it was location six but i'm not positive um, but yeah it's the snowy level um, so yeah, let's see here. Let's pull that up. Nope, it's not location. So it's location five. So yep, it's on the location five, the snowy level. You'll be able to find that flat bitter wing there. Like I said, I'll put a link to that video uh, up here uh, at the end of the video here and in the description. How about that? So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to catch that silver Mooney. Like I said, we're going to be using a crawfish on a long line, looking for those bubbles. I have some bubbles right out there. So I am going to put that on the long line. Thumb stick down. And mm, probably need to go a little bit farther. And over here. That's eh, closer. Not an instant red. Oops, let's keep going to the same spot. Let me go over here. That's a little bit better. And I am using my B rod, just like I have on many of the other uh, freshwater locations because I don't want to go out to 300 feet. I only want to go out to 250 feet and B rod brings me to 250 feet which there we go got an instant red line as soon as the bait hit the bottom turned instantly red nice little small splash now I have caught the flat bitterling by targeting the bubbles as well so there is a chance that you get the flat bitterling when you hit the bubbles but in this case, we got the Silver Mooney. Yay! So there you go. That's how you catch the Silver Mooney. And of course, the Flat Bitterling is pretty much the same thing. You're just using a crawdad or a crawfish uh, with a short line and targeting the smaller swirls. So, all right. So let's go ahead and keep that guy. Now let's head over to location 10, where we're going to be catching our last two epics. All righty. Here we are on location 10. And on this location, we're going to be going after the diamond squid. For that one, we're going to be using the crawfish targeting the uh, swirls. So the, the larger swirls, the medium to large swirls. And then after that, we're going to be catching the drunken sunfish. I mean, the ocean sunfish. <laughs> when, you, when we catch them, you'll see why I call them the drunken sunfish. And on that one, we got a lower depth. We have no live baits and no lures. However, we are going to be using the crawfish to catch them. And I will show you that when the time comes. So let's go ahead and go for the diamond squid first. For that, for that we're going to be doing the short line, pressing my thumbstick up to get a short line. All the swirls have disappeared. I can kind of see there was a swirl there. I can see where there was some swirls. Let's go ahead and cast out to where they're at. I am using my A rod and reel on this one because I do want to go out a little bit farther. And it's not an instant red line. So if it takes a minute, it's probably the common octopus. Not an instant red line. And let's go a little bit farther over here to the right. It's not an instant. I'm going to go ahead and do a reset. Hard and back to expert. Get some more swirls up there. We got two of them right there. I didn't want to go quite that far, but that's okay. I can bring it up a little bit. Nope, bring it up a little bit more. And it's not an instant red line. That was a red line, but it did take a minute. So more than likely, that was probably the common octopus. Not an instant red. Let's go ahead and go over here. 
not an instant red. Just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and cast over in this direction. There's quite often, let me bring it up a little bit, fish over here in this direction as well. So I like to just cast around in different areas where I know there's going to be fish at. And it's not an instant red. Head and go to Harden Expert. Uh, that was a pretty small swirl. That's not going to be it. Let's go for that one. And let's go a little bit harder. I'm probably going to go way past it, but I can reel back up to it. And it is about right there. It's not an instant red line. Let's go ahead and do this one over here. That was really close, but it's not an instant red line. And just for fun, oh, there's one over there. I'm probably way too short for that one. Let's go ahead and cast back here. Bring it up to it, and it just has to be close, especially if you're using the uh, A bait. So it's got a pretty big radius. All right, I got one more over there. That one's not even close, but let's see what it does. That one's a little bit closer. And it's not an instant red. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cast out here a few times, trying to hit these swirls. I'll bring you back when I get something on the line. Well, there we go. There was a swirl there a minute ago. And I had to way cast it past it. And then I had to reel up to it. Probably was about seven resets by the time I got an instant red line. But this should be it. Well, no, it does jump. It takes a little bit of time to bring it in. Should be jumping here pretty soon. Yep, there it is. Kind of looks like it jumps backwards. It jumps with its tentacles forward. It's kind of neat. Get this, and then we'll catch the one that everybody likes to catch. That drunken sunfish. <laughs> There's that snap. That helped out a lot. Made it easier to bring it in. These last few feet are always slow going. Trying to get it in without letting it get loose off the line. There we go. There's the diamond squid. Alright, we'll go ahead and keep that guy. Now we're going to be targeting the bubbles using the crawfish. I'm going to be using a long line. It is on the bottom. And what we're going to be looking for is a usually about a three count. So I've caught it any, anywhere between a two to a four count. So with the crawfish, we'll bring it up to those bowls and we'll stop there. We'll count when it hits the bottom. One, two, three, four. And if I don't get it on a four count, I go ahead and quick retrieve it and go to the next set of bubbles. That's pretty close. One, two, three, four. Not there, I'm going to go ahead and quick retrieve it. I'm going to go ahead and do a reset because I don't see any more bubbles anywhere. Um, I could just randomly throw it out there to locations where the fish are normally at. But we'll just go ahead and reset just to try to get some more bubbles. And we got some bubbles straight ahead, some over there. Let's go ahead and hit those over there real quick. And I'll bring it back up to it. Once again, when you're reeling it in, you get it up to where the bubbles are at, you let it drop. Make sure that you're letting it hit the bottom before you count. One, two, three, four. So those bubbles are over here, but they would swim over here because they started out over there. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the bubbles here in the middle. We'll bring it up to it. And about there, we're gonna let it drop. And one, two, three, four. It's not there. I'm gonna go ahead and these bubbles here. I cast it way past it. And about there. Let it drop. Watch that bait. Hit the bottom. One, two. That was a pretty instant 
So that is probably going to be a common octopus. I'll let it jump on there just so you can see. Yep. And it was a common octopus. Go ahead and do a reset here. Like I said, we're looking for anywhere from a, usually about a three count. It's anywhere from three, sometimes it's four, and I've had it hit on a two count before. Just depends on how fast you count, I suppose. And about there, we'll let it drop. One, two, three, four. Hang out there. Got some bubbles right in front of me here. I went way past them. But I can always reel them back in. Let it drop. And one, two, three, four. It's not there. Let's go for these bubbles over here. And I don't think that's close enough, but one, two, yeah, see that was way too fast. That's gonna be the common octopus. And I think I went after those already. I'll bring it up here anyways. Give it a shot, let it drop. One, two, three, four. Not there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and target some more bubbles and I'll bring you back when I get it on the line. Alright, so we're on reset number seven. We got some bubbles there, a couple sets of bubbles over here. I'm gonna cast right out there the those first. Kind of to the right a little bit, but it was probably about there. I'm gonna drop it down. One, two, three. There we go. That was about a three count. That is probably it right there. And there he is. So yeah, it just depends on how fast you count. Count about one, two, three. Now watch him when he tries to jump. It's hilarious. <laughs> uh, the drunken sunfish. Doesn't quite make it out of the water. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Not quite. Good try, though. <laughs> There's my snap. I got that snap in. That helped. Brought him in a little bit faster. It does take a little while to bring this guy in. He's a big one. Considered huge. He is pretty huge sometimes. So we'll bring this one in and then uh, we'll go check out the leaderboard. See how I do on, the, on these fish that I'm bringing in today. Just out of curiosity, I know I got a few of them up there that are pretty high for the Japan 2 DLC. So, let's see, maybe this one will be my biggest one yet. Or it could not be. He is a big guy, that's for sure. So no, it's not my biggest one, but it's a pretty good size, 111 inches. All right, there's that ocean sunfish, we'll keep him. And let's, let's go ahead and head back to the lodge and take a look. There's all my fish in the tank. All right, let's take a look here. Let me grab my other glove so it's not sitting in the way. And we're gonna go to the fish leaderboard. And the first one we got was that silver moony. And looks like I am number 10 on the silver moony. Cool. All right, and let's look at the huge fish here. How did I do on that one? I'm 197, so not even close on the uh, ocean sunfish. And I believe the other one was considered a large. Yep, there he is. Diamond squid, 114. So the silver moony is the one I have that's the best. Number 10, so. 
Well, there you go. So there's my fish tank if you'd like to see my fish tank. Well, there you have it. So now you know how to catch all of the epics on uh, Japan DLC 2. If you missed any of my other videos, you could always use my uh, playlist to go back and watch them. And once again, thanks for watching my video. And if you haven't done so already, if this video helped you, please give me a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me and it will also help you so you can see all these cool tips and tricks in the future. Uh, they will be releasing some new free maps here pretty soon. I believe there's going to be releasing four of them. So I will be doing videos for those four as well. Also look in the description. I have links to my spreadsheets. In my spreadsheets, I always put the uh, uh, what I'm doing to catch things before I even create the videos. So a lot of times you can figure out what I'm doing just by checking them out in my spreadsheet. So once again, thanks for watching. You have a great day. Bye-bye.